Mark Antoine, uh, Ohio State men's FAS, two-time All-American, but this year a finalist. Uh, walk us through your tournament this year and uh, your path to the final against defending champ Jake Hoyle. Well, the tournament started pretty slow for me and my teammate. Uh, the first one was pretty bad, but then uh, we took things into our hands. And the last four rounds were amazing. Uh, we defense incredibly, and we tallied a a lot of wins for the team. Ending up with 35 is amazing. And then, so, both of us qualified for semifinals, and luckily we were in different semifinals. But my teammate lost in semifinals by a touch, else we would have had the all OC final. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That that teammate being uh, Lewis Weiss, of course, also a, a couple time All American. How, how exciting was it to see both of you advance? you know, into that final after a grueling pool component of the tournament. It was incredible because this year men's EP was so hard. Uh, the caliber was incredibly high and uh, we found amazing the whole two days and I can't be that prouder than that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now you also coming from Canada, uh, team, team Canada representative, how does fencing in the NCAA circuit kind of help you or, or with your international fencing? Well, I'd say because NCAA always is a lot of five touch bouts, and in the World Cup, it's really hard to come out of the first round where it's our only five touch bouts. So I think it gives us a lot of experience about these bouts and how to react if you go, lose one or because uh, you yeah, have 24 bouts, so you have to learn how to after a defeat, you have to be ready to fence the next one. So that and, helped a lot. And with having 24 bouts, how are you able to maintain your focus? Uh, with the ups and downs and understanding that you probably will drop a couple bouts on your path to the final. Well, I'll say your teammate is probably the most important person on that point because he's going to be the one that needs to pull you up and like after bad performance, you have to just clear your head and think about the next one. It's normal to drop a bout, but you have to uh, go back hard and win. Absolutely. Now, at points of this tournament, were there were there times that you feel you faced some adversity, either through an injury, a call, um, uh, an incredibly strong opponent, something that that you had to really flip a switch to say, okay, clear my head. This is the time. Well, yes, I had a lot of problem, uh, different injuries. My back was hurting. Uh, I cramped in my elbow, so that was actually a tough time because I had three bouts left, and these three were super important for us since it was against an opponent that was close to us. So I really had to like decide and put all my will into the, these three routes. Now, uh, as mentioned, you're a two-time All-American last year, taking six. This year, you find yourself on the podium. How you know? How important is that to you uh, to to have a good tournament here, both for yourself for OSU, um, but also to continue seeing those gains in your in your results? It's really important because, well, first of all, for the team, uh, you always want to do the best. Because we have teammates that are here that are at home watching, and you feel you need to do well for them. So it really motivates you to keep pushing and pushing and improve so the next year you can do even better. And I think for me personally, uh, the two results were pretty good because the first year I was a bit stressed. I started slowly and I was really tense. And this year I started to feel more relaxed and doing my own stuff instead of just reacting. So I think slowly it's improving with the years. And you know, Right now, as you conclude this season, again, OSU taking second, you taking second, a great way to, to go out. Um, well, what's next? Will you continue fencing in the, in the, like, the NACs and the international styles? For this year, the year is pretty much done, but now it's time to train for next year because uh, this is an Olympic year, but after that, it starts a new cycle, and my goal will be to go to 2020. So it's going to be a big four years to go. So I think now it's time to go back to practice and work even harder. All right. Well, congratulations on this weekend, this year, and best of luck. Thank you.